This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Parents and students tell Fox 47 that their biggest fear is the quality of education after Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced her plans Tuesday to reopen classrooms this fall. The Michigan Safe Schools Return to School Roadmap Plan outlines the ways in which Michigan schools may start making plans to reopen for the upcoming school year. It also requires them to make plans for if it is not safe for schools to reopen and if learning needs to continue online. Amanda Cook has a son in the Olivet School District. She says if schools do have to continue online, she feels her son will have a hard time learning. The governor's order does mention special education programs, but didn't go into detail. Jennifer Ruiz says she's worried her son won't be able to get the attention he needs if schools remain online. Meanwhile, Michelle Beltran says her daughter has adjusted to online learning in the Holt School District and that safety is an active conversation in their home. Beltran said, these are crazy times. However, my daughter and I have had discussions. We discussed if they have to wear masks back to school and if she wants to return, is that okay with her? Wearing masks, however, is not something junior high student Isabella Beltran is willing to do at school. If I had to wear a mask eight hours a day or seven hours a day, I would not go back, says Isabella. Two Michigan regions are doing worse than a week ago in terms of COVID-19 spread. According to the MI Safe Start map at www.mistartmap.info, on Tuesday, the counties of Eden, Ingham, Clinton, Gratiot, and Shiawassee are seeing an increased coronavirus risk. That data was dated for Monday. The risk phase for Lansing has been increased due to high risk. This is due to the recent one-week increase above 40 new daily cases per million, the website said. The Grand Rapids area is similarly seeing an increased risk, which the state called medium high. Due to recent increases in cases, all other regions are be currently being closely monitored, the website said. A man flashed a badge when he pulled over a group of teens, but he might not have been a police officer. The mother of one of those teens wants to make sure that he faces the consequences. The video recorded on I-69 near Charlotte on Saturday night shows a man berating three teenagers in a car. One of the teen's mothers tells Fox 47 that the man who was driving a white Ford F-150 flashed a badge, then sideswiped their car, taking off their mirror. The viral video was taken from the back seat. Michigan State Police say that they're looking into it, although they wouldn't confirm the identity of the man. His name has been circulating on social media. We call the man with the same name who wouldn't confirm or deny he was in the video, only telling us to speak to his lawyer. However, the attorney says that he hasn't signed a contract yet. Calhoun County says a man with the same name retired from the sheriff's office in 2005. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News created Rebound MidMichigan. Everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can help in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything that you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't recognize their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV has created the Senior Spotlight. It's a way for anyone to share a video shout out or upload a photo to, of a deserving graduate that deserves recognition. So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today and let mid-Michigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these and all mid-Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.